Subscribe to Breakthrough Gaming and get your chance to win a copy, limited copy, Last of Us 2, which I'm not in. <laughs> The hug, oh, man. There you go, buddy. I appreciate you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks so much. Thank you. Keep watching. Welcome everyone to Breakthrough Gaming. In today's The Last of Us Part 2 video, we're going to be talking about the relationship between Ellie and Joel. Now, this is something that hasn't been discussed in the last few months, and it's honestly quite surprising considering how major this really is. Now, most people don't really understand that Joel is a pivotal character in The Last of Us Part 2. It's someone that fulfills and answers too many questions that were left unanswered in The Last of Us Part 1, and that is a fact. Uh, from the start, Neil Druckmann has been very clear that there will be tension amongst both of our beloved characters. That's, of course, between Ellie and Joel. For years, I spoke about all the things that were left unfinished, all the questions that had yet to be answered. I remember making a video about this in 2014, specifically calling out how Ellie made a joke uh, in remarks to one of the magazines that she was reading, where she continues on to say, I hate cliffhangers. And that really took a toll on me because that one sentence implied a much bigger picture. It implied that, hey, we're potentially going to get The Last of Us Part 2. And here we are six years later. Now, who is Joel talking to? All right. That's the question that we're all wondering from this latest gameplay drop that we had a few days ago. Who is Joel talking to when he stated the, the, the recap of everything that happened in The Last of Us Part 1. Now, for those of you that don't know, here's what Joel had to say in regards to Ellie in The Last of Us Part 2. I don't know what happened. I was supposed to take her to the Fireflies and walk away. They were actually going to make a cure. The only catch. It would kill her. Now, in order to understand the powerful sentence that Joel has just stated, we have to take this a step back. In The Last of Us Part 2, Neil Druckmann, the vice president of Naughty Dog, has already confirmed multiple times, and this is something that I'll get to in my next video, The Last of Us Part 1 and The Last of Us Part 2 is going to have time jumping. So inevitably, we're going to get a lot of answers to a lot of the questions that were left open in The Last of Us Part 1. Now, the relationship between Ellie and Joel has been conflicted for a while. Neil Druckmann confirmed this himself when asked about the relationship between Ellie and Joel. And spoiler warning, in five seconds I'm about to give a major spoiler about The Last of Us Part 1. In The Last of Us Part 1, we have Joel that essentially lies to Ellie and decides to kill everybody in the hospital for the sake of of saving Ellie's life. Now, we know that in The Last of Us Part 2, there is conflict between Ellie and Joel, but Neil Druckmann never really went into details as to how exactly was their relationship torn apart. It's also very clear that towards the second half of the game, Ellie and Joel reunite once again and essentially come back together and, and cross paths, you know, through harmony and love rather than hate and division, which is something that is fully up to Naughty Dog in whatever direction they decide to take this game on. We're only gonna find out June 19th, which is only a few weeks away, so I'm very, very excited. All right, so in my honest opinion, and to finish this video, what I will say is that yes, Ellie does find out what Joel lied about. Now, the only reason I'm saying a, a big yes to this, and it's even though it's not confirmed because Neil Druckmann keeps beating around the bush, um, yes, Ellie finds out what Joel lied about because, one, Neil Druckmann already hinted towards it, even though he didn't say it in black and white, and now, boom, two years later, after Neil Druckmann has already hinted towards this multiple times, we have a clip of Joel talking to somebody, potentially his brother Tommy, in regards to what happened at the hospital with Ellie. Now, Joel might be talking to somebody else, or that might very well just be a narration, but the truth of the matter is that here we go again. The topic is being brought up by no other than Neil Druckmann slash Naughty Dog. So yes, I think that Ellie finds out what Joel lied about. And I'm gonna leave it up to the fan. I'm gonna leave it up to the subscriber. I'm gonna leave it up to the comment section to essentially, essentially speculate and theorize how exactly Ellie finds out, how Ellie reacts, what changes in The Last of Us Part 2, 
in terms of their relationship thanks to this directly and then how long does it take them to get back together because we know that ellie and joel get back together in the last of us part two we just don't know how long it takes them or how long they were away from each other we know that they go together in this quest of revenge and a vengeance but again we don't know exactly how and that is where naughty dog storytelling comes into place all right guys thank you so much for watching i'm breakthrough gaming number one source for the last of us part two we are giving away 50 copies of the last of us part two the last 10 copies are going to be collector's edition and that's going to be based on people that are engaging to the channel uh, on multiple videos not just one the remainder 40 copies are going to be regular editions and all the information of that will be in the description so make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you want to participate in the collector's edition as well as share it in your instagram twitter or snapchat timeline for at least 24 hours and send me a dm confirmation all right guys i'll catch you guys on the next one peace out